What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what messages come out for y'all. Happy freaking Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Let's dive right in and see what messages come out. Give me three cards. If y'all hear noise in the background, those are my kids. It's thunderstorming outside. My door is open because my kids are a little scary. Okay, and they're in there with the baby. So what's going on with Scorpio? Twin flames. Some of y'all are getting into alignment. Y'all are getting into spiritual alignment. What's going on? Y'all are going to start feeling things coming to you effortlessly. Like things are going to start happening. What's going on? Things are going to start happening for you uh, effortlessly. Okay. Some of y'all completed out a karmic cycle as well. Give me one second. Some of y'all, things are going to be happening for you effortlessly. Some of y'all just finished out a karmic cycle. Uh, karmic energy is, is, you know, learn some karmic lessons here. So you're getting into spiritual alignment. Uh, you also have the brunette female, which is darker hair and tits focus. Some of y'all could have dyed your hair dark. Some of y'all are very focused on a goal or focused on something or someone. A lot of y'all come off as very mysterious. Very mysterious. Some of y'all could have changed your lip color too. Like maybe you're trying out new lipstick or something. I don't know why I'm getting that, but okay. Maybe you're trying out new lipstick. You also have young males, 40 cars and youthful. Some of y'all are either in this young energy or y'all about to meet a younger masculine energy. This person could like cars or just, you know, um, they're showing me somebody dressed, like dressed down, like, you know, like casual tennis shoes, stuff like that. So some of y'all could be meeting somebody that like dresses, you know, like a, you know, a youngin. Okay. Not business casual. One second. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Kids need my attention. Okay. Destiny, luck, chance, and meant to be. Something's faded here, Scorpio. You're about to have some sort of faded meeting. Maybe this person that you're going to meet. We gon' see. So let's see. What's going on? Yep, there's that card. What's going on with Scorpio? Clarify the twin flame card for Scorpio. What's the twin flame card about for Scorpio? Twin flame card for Scorpio. What's that twin flame card about for Scorpio? And brunette female. Ooh. And young male energy for Scorpio. What's the young male energy for Scorpio? I don't like that too much. All right, so twin flame, you got not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. I told y'all, a lot of y'all are getting into alignment here. Whatever wasn't good for you or wasn't enough for you or wasn't meant to be in your energy or in alignment with you, it's, it's uh, filtering out. You also have brunette female, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation, and abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude, and bliss. A lot of y'all are focused on your abundance. What makes you happy? What is it that you want to do? Um, who is in your energy that feels, that gives you love? You know, some of y'all are very focused on love or an opportunity in love, or this is somebody focused on you. Somebody, some of y'all are just, your focus being on self-love is what's bringing this in as well for some of y'all. Uh, you also have young male. I don't like this one. Okay, you got talking. Interest, conversing more, awaited messages, arrives, text call, email, and hoovering, right? But then you got sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Honey, why? What is this? But then underneath the deck... You got unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. See, y'all getting into alignment. Y'all supposed to have equal reciprocity, and it's coming. But whoever this little young male is, um, it's giving me stalker vibes a little bit. Be careful of somebody coming in young, <clears throat> trying to gaslight you, and they don't have to be, like, under your age or younger than you. This person could just be young-minded, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a little on the chat side, or just a little younger than you, like their energy is younger, okay? Don't necessarily have to do with the numbers. Okay, with the age. Okay, and gotta do with that, or this person just looks younger. Let's see. What's this uh, twin flame? What's twin flame for Scorpio? Twin flame. Ooh, burning evidence. Some of y'all getting rid of people. Get in the room. Hotel, motel, suite, business pleasures. Some of y'all are like. Um, getting out of a connection or out of a relationship you're just kind of wiping it away you no longer want it it's kind of like some of y'all are um doing uh cord cuttings as well what's the brunette female what's the brunette female nightmare honey what the 
I've dated expired to shoes, bugaboo. For some of y'all, y'all are somebody's worst nightmare. Why? Because you are in this energy of having faith that love will come into your life and that you're happy and you're manifesting exactly what you want in your life. You are coming off as somebody's nightmare. Why? Because you're actually getting what you want or somebody feels like you, you're you very focused and you're intense and you always get what you want. Some, some, some people may think you do black magic. <laughs> family time some of this some people some of this is your family watching ish go down and join the gossip it um yeah some of y'all family is like um or some of y'all are realizing that a family dynamic was a complete nightmare red lipstick stains evidence of cheating chill out some of y'all y'all got put into a third party situation sexual protection is here or y'all will and y'all need to protect yourself or y'all are being protected What's the young male? What's the young male? Fulfilling a fantasy. A situation is about to explode. Ish is about to pop off up in flames. Listen, I don't know who this fake apology, caution, child, fake friends, keeping you a secret. I don't know about this. Can I have another on the young male? In their feelings. Somebody a bugaboo. Okay. <laughs> There's a younger person or a younger minded person that is interested in you. They want to talk more. They're waiting on you to text them, call them. This person, they really want a lot of conversation. But it's like, and they may text you here soon. This person is in their feelings. They want to get you, get with you. But the fulfilling of fantasy, I don't know if I like that. Because it's kind of like you're their fantasy. You're their secret fantasy. Or something about you is like they fantasize about you. This person is in their feelings. They watch you. They stalk you. Be careful of this person trying to gaslight you, Scorpio. But this person is watching you. But the, I don't like this at the bottom of the deck. Why is it coming up as a bugaboo? I don't like that. So what's this twin flame? Some of y'all are walking away from like a connection or walking away from things that are too hard. Like if, if you got to like... It's kind of like, you know, if you got to really work, work for a relationship or a connection, it's like it's not supposed to be that hard. You know what I'm saying? Y'all supposed to be able to come into alignment, come together. But it's like if something is not working and it just keeps failing, it's not meant for you. We have perfectionists. What's this? Twin flame. Jump into conclusions. Somebody, it's like somebody feels like they have to be perfect for you. Or somebody may have unrealistic uh, expectations as well. Like they're looking for the perfect person or the perfect partner. What's the twin flame? Spiritual narcissist. Ew, child. What is that? That looks like some fake news. Be careful of somebody coming off like they're perfect to you. Because this, this person is not perfect. Gamble taking risk. Somebody could also use spirituality. Uh, dark spirituality. Like this is like putting spell work on you, sex magic, um, putting shit in your food, in your drink. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into details. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's nasty. Stop doing that. I don't know why y'all do that shit. Stop doing that. That's disgusting. Um, oh, child. Somebody may look at you like you're perfect, too, Scorpio, which that is not true. Nobody's perfect, honey, <laughs> at all. I hate that word. Um, somebody wants to take a risk with you, but... This could have been somebody that already sabotaged something with you. I am wanting opinions. Due to listening to other people, they could have been quite abusive to your emotions in some sort of way, you know. Maybe very neglectful, that type of energy. Um, for some of y'all, somebody is like, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody with this jump into conclusions and perfection, somebody feels like it's like an unrealistic, effortless connection that you may have with somebody. And somebody can't understand why they're being pulled to you. And they're jumping to conclusions and saying that you done put black magic on them, but it's fake news. It's not. It's not. It's like this could be some of y'all. This is your twin flame, or this could be a karmic. Okay, I'm just saying. Um, but some of y'all like somebody. Somebody's trying to like cut a cord with you, or they're trying to like release you, or let go, or like not try to be as attached to you. But it's like. I don't know what the pool is, but y'all are like, y'all are being pulled together. 
somebody may lack a little confidence here. They may not know how to approach you because they're, they're, they look at you with this jumping to conclusions and spiritual narcissists. They feel like you, you're a witch or a warlock or you, you put some, I'm here to put a spell on you. Now you're mine. So they feel like you put a love spell on them, y'all. <laughs> What's brunette female? Guards up. This person's guard is always up. So somebody, something about your energy, your positivity, the way you manifest, how uh, how grateful you are with like the smallest things. Like you're just, it's something about your energy. It's like they, they love the intenseness, but it's like it's dark as well because you're coming up as darker hair and this brunette female. It's like you, the eyes in this, in this card here. Like you see how intense she is? It's like somebody feels so attracted to you. Like you're so intense. You're so inviting. You're so alluring, right? But it's like... What is it? Like, it, it's kind of like, uh, this is going to be lame, but it's kind of like on Twilight when he couldn't, he couldn't read old girl's mind, but he could read everybody else's. And he was like, you know, it's something about that. Like something about you. What's the brunette female? Always drunk. For some of y'all, somebody may overindulge a little bit or they want to. Honey, that was nasty. I just heard, I want to overindulge in you. Somebody got deep voice. Gamble, take a risk. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody wants to overindulge in you. This person normally keeps their guards up or they're always guarded. But it's like you're their worst nightmare because this person could potentially see like happily ever after with you with the nightmare family time. Like they could see happily ever after with you, like something about you. Now I'm hearing love, love, love love i don't know okay but this person wants to take a risk with you they want to take a gamble with you bipolar u-turn some of y'all this person eh, they may have you know they may be a little they may feel like they're off the rocker some of y'all this person may feel like you off your rocker a little bit honey what <laughs> i'll be careful this person half true some of y'all they're not being fully honest this person could be hiding how they feel y'all it's like a scared but the reason why they're scared is because they feel like they've fallen in love or they they could fall in love, like fall into, like mesmerized. God, why am I getting this? This person feels mesmerized by you, Scorpio. They feel like they can have happiness and abundance with you. Like they feel like they can have everything with you, the family, the kids, the house, everything. What's the brunette female? Or this is how you feel about somebody. What's brunette female for Scorpio? With this abundance card. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Some of y'all, oh, honey, what's this brunette female? Is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of y'all need to be careful. 13, 13, 13. Somebody may try to knock you up, Scorpio. Somebody may try to knock you up. Because... Now I'm hearing that Pretty Little Liars theme song. It's a secret to keep it. It's a lock it in my pocket and take it to the grave. I don't know. I don't know why I'm hearing that. That's creepy. Something to do with children. This person may want to impregnate you. Create a family with you, Scorpio, for the ones that can have kids. For others of you, this is somebody that just like they want the end all be all with you. And this person, they're not being, they're hiding this. They, they literally want to, like, overindulge with you. I don't know why I'm getting this. Okay, we're going to keep it moving. What's young male for Scorpio? Young male for Scorpio? Y'all, listen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, um... Y'all had okay, hold on. And smoker tried to come in reverse. Um, you have prepared for what's to come. Listen, 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 listen. Scorpio, you about to be somebody fantasy. Okay. I'm here. I'm trying to sing to that, but I'm here. I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes, and I wanna move from the bed down to the down to the to the floor, and I wanna. 
you niggas so good, I don't want to leave, but I gotta know what, what's your fantasy to see, okay? <laughs> you got this person, and they, y'all, if y'all give this person some, they gonna be stalking you. They gonna be blowing your phone up. And then, to clarify that, look, let me break it down. Preparing for what's to come. If y'all get this person some, baby, pass me. Someone needs to get checked. Some of y'all, make sure y'all go get checked, okay? Because this person, you know, before you, before you, da 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 right? Happy relationship. If you get this person some, you got to lock this person in. This person wants you. They want marriage. They see marriage with you. They see commitment with you. They see lifetime with you. And smoke some of y'all this person smoke cigarettes or they're they talk about quitting because this is coming in it came in reverse too so some of y'all this person may smoke cigarettes or smoke that mm -hmm, that kirsch um and um you know or maybe they've tried quitting before but honey this person sees happily ever after with you this person may suffer from childhood wounds or childhood fears someone is traumatized by their childhood so maybe this person may open up to you about some sort of childhood fear or wounding or something like that as well. But this person want a relationship with you. But I would be careful. We got gaslighting and past life karma. So I'd be careful of gaslighting. This person <sighs> fogs. Someone can't see through a situation or cry for help. Materialistic. I'd be careful. Emotional abuse. Because this person, they may not. What's that pap smear? What a pap smear? Your luck is about to change. Listen, playing with fire, someone lo loves to play with fire. Listen, you got red flags, crazy, power hungry, forgiveness. Listen, if y'all get this person some, or if y'all messing with this person, or if y'all decide to talk to this person, whoever this young-minded person is, because it's like, it's like you know, put something on this person, or you're going to put something on this person. I don't know who this is, but baby, pay attention to red flags, because it's like the first when you start making, you know, you do it with this person, baby, they about to go crazy, and then this person is gonna be power hungry, like they they want you to forgive them, they want you to, I don't I don't know, it's like if they stalking you, watching you, something like that, it's like they want you to forgive them. They want, they want control over you. I don't know. Two souls merging together. Some of y'all, this person, if they cheated on you or if they stepped out on you, they're asking for forgiveness. They want to be with you. They want to come towards you here. Who is this person? Can I have one more? Stripped and cleansed. You are being purified by spirit. Some of y'all, it's like y'all are being released from this person or, or spirit is releasing y'all from this person. This person is going crazy. This person is in their feelings. They could be wondering who you're sleeping with if you're in a happy relationship. If you've moved on, if you've gotten married. Y'all need to be careful with this. I don't, I don't like this. This gives me crazy energy. What's the young male? Oh, baby, this could be an ex. Release your ex. This time, The time has come to clear your energy. Engagement. Some of y'all, this person is watching and stalking you because they wonder who you're in a relationship with or if you're engaged and get married with somebody else. Whoever this is, this is somebody that had a fantasy to be with you or they fantasized about sleeping with you again or this is what they're doing now. They could be watching you, stalking you. This ain't healthy. Very soon, reconciliation. This person could be coming back for reconciliation now. Y'all better be careful. This is an ex of y'all. Somebody from the past returning and they could be trying to come back towards you here. But honey, if you give them that cookie or that, that um, hot dog, stuck. And I don't, I don't, th I don't think you're gonna be able to get rid of honey. Uh, uh. It's like, it's like this person feels like you're their good luck charm. I'm gonna leave there, Scorpio. I gotta go. I'm gonna go spend time with my babies. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this brings you some clarity. It's like, and uh, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.